the involvement of GST, there were many pessimists in the beginning when it was launched on 1st July 2017 in the presence of uh, Parliament. I was also uh, fortunate to be there because my Honorable Chief Minister nominated me as well. He was Honorable Chief Minister Dr. Pramod Savan and I also were there and it was a historic occasion. And when meeting started earlier also where I have contributed, people were pessimists. I, they used to call me the only optimist. I said, just wait for some time. A new system for such a large country will take time, but it will be one nation, one tax, seamless uh, movement of goods. Now with e-way billing, I think it has become a reality. And the collection speaks for themselves. I did not say anything more to the success of one modern reform in the economy introduced by none other than our tallest and iconic leader, Sri Narendra Modi ji. Uh, led by the finance minister Nirmala Sitaramanji. I think this augurs very well for the economy. Today we have moved from fifth position to the uh, from tenth position to the fifth position, fifth largest economy. In a few years' time, will be the third largest economy. Are these not achievements of uh, the central government? Goa also. I must give credit to Dr. Pramod Savan, who is also the finance minister. He has marshaled his uh, uh, what is there before him so well that today we have reached 497 crore, which is the highest GST collection, which again speaks volumes as against a COVID situation, which he encountered and came out with flying colors. So I think this is something which is commendable, and I'm sure we will continue to grow from strength to strength, whether it is the country at large in terms of our finances, or whether it is uh, led by none other than the iconic leader, Chidharen Modiji, and here led by Dr. Pramod Savan. I think we will continue to go from strength to strength as far as the finances of the state are concerned and continue doing well. Story by Kiran Borkar for Herald TV.